Nowadays, everybody is mining, and the algorithm difficulty is raised so high that it's barely profitable to keep the machines plugged in. If you are a smart person which knows his business and did not start mining just because everyone else did, you know that in this business, only those who truly believe in the crypto of choice and the people or companies which to last the most will win the big ticket at the next huge price change. To be honest, I should not have made this video. I have discovered something that not many believe to be possible. One of the people I talked to about this project told me that I'm crazy, spreading the know-how which others will use to make a ton of money with, and that I should sell the already made machines instead. The truth is that I believe in the reason which made me decide to make this video, and I will share this with you later, so please keep your eyes and ears open as you're going to learn something awesome. You probably already know that the Chinese mining farms have a huge advantage in comparison with the small farms or individual miners. The big farms pay as little as one cent per kilowatt of electricity. That's five to ten times less what the average miners are paying right now. There is no way to beat that, but there still is hope by making your mining equipment more efficient. But how do you do that if you do not have a couple of million dollars sitting around to design your own equipment? Many of you may already know that these machines do not like heat at all. They tend to break a lot if the environment they are being kept running in is harsh, not properly ventilated, dehumidified, filtered, cooled, etc. If you own one to five miners, you might not have such issues. But when you are trying to scale this business, you begin hitting all kinds of barriers, which are going to increase the difficulty of keeping your business running until it becomes profitable again. That might be when most of the mining companies or individuals stop having faith and just quit. They will end up selling or busting their equipment due to the conditions they were kept in. I'm sure that you've seen a few videos before with people cooling their machines using different ways, but the results were mostly uncertain and very little information was provided. One of the ways which got my attention was the cooling the mining equipment by using mineral oil. I started to research how such a system works and how well it will scale. It took me a few weeks to get around the principle, and after I knew everything there is to know on sizing and calculating the volume required to cool the mining equipment which I am running, Ant Miner S9, I built my first prototype in just a few hours. These boards have 63 main ICs, which consume 8 watts each, 95% of the electricity being transformed into heat. The board's temperature will raise in a matter of seconds to 100 degrees Celsius if no cooling mechanism is being used when hashing. This machine comes default with two high-speed fans, which run at 4,500 RPMs, producing good airflow. But that comes with 70 decibels of noise. Imagine an old vacuum cleaner running 24-7. The other problem is that cooling with air barely keeps the machine at a decent temperature, especially when multiple machines are being run in a closed environment with no proper ventilation and air filtration is being used. This is making it almost impossible for regular users to mine using these machines because of the amount of noise and heat that is being generated. This is why most of the mining companies keep these machines in private data centers, special built to handle the amount of heat being generated. Without further introduction, check out the following video which shows a custom rig that I have built by disassembling an Antminer S9. I have split the machine into two modules. One. The cooling module, which is an old car radiator with two 60-watt fans attached, which could be very well mounted outside to inhibit the fan noise and to increase cooling efficiency. Two, the processing module, which holds the hashing boards immersed in mineral oil. The best part? The electricity consumption dropped by 15% and the temp temperature of the boards drop from 70 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Not only will your system cost less to run, you're going to have it running for years instead of a couple of months when running with such cool temps. I have split the machine into two modules. One, the cooling module, which is an old car radiator with two 60-watt fans attached, which could be very well mounted outside to inhibit the fan noise and to increase cooling efficiency. 
Two, the processing module, which holds the hashing boards immersed in mineral oil. The best part? The electricity consumption dropped by 15% and the temperature of the boards dropped from 70 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. Not only I have split the machine into two modules. One, the cooling module, which is an old car radiator with two 60-watt fans attached, which could be very well mounted outside to inhibit the fan noise and to increase cooling efficiency. Two, the processing module, which holds the hashing boards immersed in mineral oil. The best part? The electricity consumption dropped by 15% and the temperature of the boards dropped from 70 degrees Celsius to 55 degrees Celsius. No angles or cuts being made to hide any kind of fault. We can improve this system a lot by adding all sorts of bells and whistles which will make your life easier as a miner, but we will offer those as free updates to the first 500 users who which purchase this video guide. If you are ready to get into the Smart Miners Club, click the Add to Cart button below. You will be taken to a secure order page where you can complete the purchase. You will then be redirected to the download page where you can see all the content and a special bonus which I hope you will enjoy.